This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Well, I thought I'd scope out a new spot today because I caught some shallow bluegills last time I was out. But this looks deader than dead. The water's perfectly calm. I don't see any movement at all. I don't think there's any fish over here. Let's go look down that way. Well, the water's fairly clear, and I can clearly see that there are no fish. I'm looking for any signs of life. Ripples, wakes, tiny minnows hitting the surface, any kind of movement at all. Nothing. I'm not even gonna try over here. This looks so dead. Clear, cold water with no fish. No, thanks. Let's go somewhere else. Hey, what's this? Some kind of little French army man. There you go. Now you're Captain Garbage. All right, so here we are at the log. But instead of fishing at the log right away, I'm gonna fish over there. And we're gonna start with a spoon. Starting off with a Castmaster style spoon here. We're going for fish bigger than bluegill today. If I can't get a bite on this, I might try a double grub rig. I've got a few bites from Skipjack over here, but I haven't quite been able to catch them. Let's see if we can do it today. So this spoon imitates a bait fish like a shad. Just kind of twitch it through the water. Let it sink every once in a while. Just kind of keeping it moving. Silver, flashy. Not over the top though. It's not looking much better over here. I don't see any fish. I don't see any motion. I don't see any rings on the water. I don't really see anything. Nothing yet. Let's keep moving. I'm Elston Perez with Chunky Cats Fishing. And right now you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Let's try down here by the log. Fish. All right, got a skipjack here. This is what I was hoping for. Easy bro. Easy bro. These are feisty, feisty fish. There we go. Good size. Some people call this the best catfish bait there is. Let me see if I can get a good grip on them. There we go. Nice skipjack here. Easy. I'd say he's about a 13 or 14 incher. Yeah, good looking fish. First fish of the day, got him on that spoon. Turn around. There you go. Good fish. Yeah, I'll buy that for a dollar. Let's keep going, see if we can get another one. It's 
Sometimes those skipjack hang out in schools, and if you catch one, there might be more around. So we're gonna keep going, see if we can get another bite. All right, one more cast with this. Then we're gonna switch it up to a double grub rig. Two twister tail grubs. See if we can find any more fish out here. Let's go over to Skeletor Park. All right, we're over here at Skeletor Park. It's been a little while. I still don't think there's any fish over here, but we're gonna try. One more cast. Come on. Nothing, not even a nibble. I tried to catch fish today that weren't bluegill and I was somewhat successful. I got one skipjack at that first spot on a spoon, but I couldn't get another bite. Let's go back to the studio and check out some lures I got from Rural King. This is Slash Gills from the Juggalo Fishing Posse, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. All right, here we are back in the studio, and I got a bag from Rural King. Cha-ching, Rural King. I was out of town. I just happened to see it on Google Maps. It's a fun new discovery for me, but it's about an hour and a half away, so I don't think I'll be going there very often. I was happy with what I found while I was there. Let's check it out. I spent a total of $34.50. Might as well spend a few bucks since I'm out of town and it's so far away and I won't get to go very often. Let's see what I got. First off is the Savage Gear 3D Bat. We got a gimmick lure here. How often do bats fall in the water? Not very often. I've never seen a bat in the water, but that didn't stop the guys at Savage Gear from making a bat lure. This thing is about six inches long, including the dressed hook, maybe four inches long without it. Looks like it's a splashing bait, so when you pop it towards you, the wings are going to open and it's going to make a big splash. I don't know that I would ever catch anything on this, but it is a fun gimmick lure for the Savage Gear bat. I paid $2.91. As a matter of fact, I bought a few of them. At that price, why not, right? Fun gimmick baits. I think I'll hang one up here in the store when I'm done with the video. There we go. Four Savage Gear Bats at $2.91. They had a bunch of them, and that's probably why they were on Super Sale for $2.91. Let's see what else I got. Here I have a Bagley Shallow Sunny B05. The Shallow Sunny is made of balsa using the HCM process. This uniquely shaped lure is precision balanced for easy casting and attracts predators with fast or slow twitching retrieve. Good looking bait here for the Bagley I paid $3.91. Not the best deal, but I liked the look of it. It kind of has a sunfish color 
and a shad pattern at the same time. I thought it might work. We'll try it out this upcoming year. What's up guys, this is Jordan from Dude Fish TV and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Let's see what else we got. Here we have a Lucky Craft Pointer SP78 in Sexy Chartreuse Shad. This is a slow suspending jerkbait made by Lucky Craft. Dives to approximately four to five feet and it's three inches long. For the Lucky Craft I paid $2.91. Yeah, pretty good deal on these baits. This one also has a dot on the side. I like that dot on the side. I think it helps catch fish around here because most of the game fish feed on shad. Anyway, what did I say? $2.91? Yeah, good price. $2.91. For a Lucky Craft, that ain't bad. We also have a jar of Gulp Alive Emerald Shiner Minnows. Right, so this is the one inch minnow. A lot of people ask, where do you find those gulp minnows? Well, they're getting harder and harder to find, actually. When I saw these over there at Rural King, I had to pick them up. I actually picked up two jars. This one is the smelt color. This one is emerald shiner. Very similar. So this one is kind of a white and silver, and this one is like a white and dark gray. One of my favorite all-time panfish baits right here. If you're having a hard time catching fish, gulp minnow pretty much gets it done. For the gulp minnows, I paid $5.99 each, right? So that was basically 12 bucks for two jars. So all in all, not too bad for 35 bucks. Got two jars of gulp minnows. I know I'll catch a ton of fish on those. I got four of these Savage Gear gimmick bat baits. I don't know that I'll ever catch a fish on these. Got the Lucky Craft jerk bait. Got the Bagley crank bait. Hey, all in all, not too bad. And I'll definitely have to check that store out again. If you've never been to a Rural King, it's kind of like a Tractor Supply. It's like Tractor Supply and Kmart had a baby. And it's a pretty cool store. So if there's a Rural King in your area, Go check it out. You might be able to find some bat baits on sale. Maybe some gulp minnows. Who knows? Hi, I'm Sherry. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Be sure to check out the next video for a chance to win some lures. And thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.